accommodation it's about 9:43. we check out at 10 and then we're gonna head to Osaka station um, I really want to try and get on the, the Hello Kitty Shinkansen but it only goes in the opposite direction so we're thinking maybe we could get it to Kobe spend like an hour or two there and then go to Tokyo but they only run one a day so I don't know if we're gonna even get a seat so we're gonna just head to Osaka station get to then Shin Osaka see if we can get a seat on it if we can't then we can just book our Shinkansen to go straight to Tokyo so yeah we're gonna head out now and see if the if the gods are on our on the gods if the universe is on our side <laughs> ticket for the Hello Kitty Shinkansen at 11.37 This man out here about to be He's out here gonna be the next Hunshin Tigers supporter <laughs> A lifelong supporter Since 2018 We stayed in that style home in Kyoto. Rio Khan? Yeah, a Rio Khan. It was a baseball game on one of those nights on TV that I watched. And I watched the character of the Chin Tigers. I believe they lost them. Oh. It's unfortunate. Kinda looks like the Richmond Tigers. Which he also goes for. Which is definitely not a coincidence.
Hello. I want. It was pretty hectic on the Hello Kitty Shinkansen, so I didn't get to do any like talking over pieces. Is mainly just going through everything. Also, we didn't have that long on there because there was actually not that long between Shinosaka and Kobe. I think it, I think it was like 12, maximum 15 minute trip. So it was a bit of a rush to like get onto carriage one, have a look at like the shop and like the little photo ops and stuff. And then like I probably sat down for like five minutes of the entire journey and just like actually got to take it in. It was just so quick. So my recommendation is if you are planning to do it it's more worthwhile if you're going somewhere like Hiroshima or something like that um, so you can get some actual time to enjoy it because there's uh, like it's pretty busy and a lot of people are also trying to do the same thing that you are but it was really cute I'm glad that we that we got to experience it we're now in Shinkobe station our Shinkansen's just over an hour away so we've got a bit of time to kill I just bought a bento box with some Kobe beef in it because I was like why not I wanted to get the Hello Kitty, there was like a Hello Kitty Shinkansen bento box but it's sold out unfortunately so I can't get that today. That's okay. We're just going to kill some time here for an hour and then we'll probably head upstairs to our platform maybe like 20 minutes or so before our Shinkansen and be on our way to Tokyo. This is my bento box that I got for a baby. Oh, so much to it. Hold on. Oh, okay. Ready? Wow. Tokyo Station, look at this little pop up of like shib stuff. I don't know what the brand is called, but they do a lot of shibs. Very cute. And you can get a big one. Giant moach. We're in our next hotel. It's a small room because. We don't need to go anywhere or do anything crazy after this, but this is this is it. It's this hallway, bed, TV, desk, husband, husband, toilet, and bath. Very small, but enough for what we need. Uh, we're going to go out now and grab some dinner. We're going to get what's it called again? I forgot. Gyukatsu. Yeah. I've been wanting to have Gyukatsu ever since I saw it. I saw it on TikTok like before I came and I was like, I need to try this when I'm in Japan. So there's one like an eight minute walk away. So we're going to go there for dinner. Let's go. Guys, look how good this looks. I mean, we've got to cook this still, but like everything looks really good. So we just got the one beef cutlet set. Now we've got to put it on the grill and grill it to our liking. It smells really good though. Dylan's gonna give me an example. Ooh, that sizzle. Looks good. Look what it looks like when you've like cooked them and obviously you can cook them as much as you want but I'm definitely a well done girly looks good awesome. have you tried the, the sauces? 
Which one do you like? They're both fine. Which one's which again? That's wasabi. I'll try and try the wasabi dipping sauce. I'll keep the rice just in case I. Don't. You don't like that one? What? Oh, you don't want it. Mmm. That was really yummy. I'm trying to have a sauce there. I think I like the wasabi one better. But it's still really good. I'm glad we did this. It's really yummy. Is that the Millennium Puzzle? It's my Millennium Puzzle. Yugi Boy. I am the king of games. Yugi Boy. First grape of the trip. It's been actually a very long time coming. Got like a banana chocolate grape thing. <laughs> dinner and dessert and even though we had dessert we still went past 7-eleven because every time we go past there Dylan always gets a coffee and then we end up getting snacks because it's so cheap um is this my receipt i can't tell anyway whatever this was it cost us three dollars so i picked up some things <laughs> got this royal milk tea 
I don't know if it's any good, so I'm going to try it today. And then I wanted to get melon bread, but they didn't have any. So I picked this up. Thick cut French toast with egg and milk. So we're going to try that today. It's our daily snack review. Becoming a snack review channel. Cancelling the Japan vlog. Alright, let me try the French toast first. Okay, this is interesting. This is what it looks like. So it's... Like you can break it off into little sections, so I might just rip off a chunk first. Oh gosh, this is squishy. Alright, I'm not gonna eat the, the crust part because I wanna try the, the good stuff in the middle first, okay? It's yummy, it tastes very buttery on the inside, but nice. I rate that. Next we have the milk tea. I don't know if I have to, do I have to shake this? It's all in Japanese. I don't actually know, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of a shake anyway. Just a very thorough shake. A thorough shake. Okay, well you heard the expert. Got to do a thorough shake, Dylan says. Sure you. Um, it's like bubbling up. Is it supposed to happen when I shake it? It's milk. You'll get it. Is this thorough enough? No. Oh my god. You do this. You know? There you go. Thank you, professional. Oh my goodness. All right, is this bloody? It's not carbonated. But it's rising up. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What's gonna happen is gonna fizz everywhere. <laughs> Maybe. It's time. Hmm, that's not bad. Yeah, I actually don't mind this one. I think the, the taste of the one that we got from Family Mart in Kyoto was a bit better. But the tapioca balls, um, or tapioca pearls, ended up being really gross. Like, they weren't, like, the nice ones that you get with bubble tea. They were just kind of, like, I didn't drink them. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that. Dylan's got his food, but I don't think he wants to review it. So, I'm going to go eat these. And I might even wrap this up as well. It's, it's still quite early, but, like, I feel like after a travel day, we always just want to wind down. So, I don't think there's anything wrong with having a quiet at night tonight so it's like 8 30 right now tomorrow we are going to team labs in tokyo at we i booked the first session of the day that's like a nine o'clock 9 30 session because i read somewhere i think it was on tiktok i can't remember but somebody recommended it for two reasons firstly you get the least amount of people in your pictures but secondly because you have to take your shoes off in there the later you go on the day, it just starts to smell like feet. And so, <laughs> so the earlier you go, the less stinky it is. So uh, that too. So we're going out in the morning. And then I don't know what we're going to do the rest of the day. We have to figure that out. I guess we'll kind of figure out like if it, the area is kind of far from like most things that we want to do. So we'll probably come back into Tokyo and then figure it out. Whether we go to Akihabara or we go to Harajuku or whatever, we'll... we'll We'll mull it over uh, tonight and we'll come back to you hopefully with a plan in the morning. But yeah, I'm going to start winding down, get ready for bed, start planning a couple, couple of things, figure out the day kind of stuff. It's been a, been a good day, pretty seamless travel day. The Hello Kitty Shinkansen was really, really cool. I definitely recommend it if you can. It is covered by the JR Pass if you get the JR Pass, so that's really cool. But it's going, it was going in the opposite direction to where we wanted to go. So it's going towards like um, Hakata and like Hiroshima, that kind of side. So if you're planning a trip to Hiroshima, it's perfect. There is only one a day. Make sure you check the timetable and get there with enough time to book it beforehand. We used a machine to book it actually for the first time this trip and managed to get it even, I think it was like an hour and a half before departure or maybe even an hour, but who knows, it could be busier on certain days, so just really um, get there early if you can. We also, we booked a standard seat for it, but we ended up boarding at the second car, which is the um, non-reserved seats. They're the only car that has the cute purple Hello Kitty seats. The rest of them are just regular. And even if you get a seat, like, booked, try your luck if you get there early enough. We were there, like, 
maybe half an hour before the actual shin comes in and we were like maybe second or third in line of people so we definitely got a seat it's very very full on um especially if we were like us we just got off at um sh at shin kobe which was the next stop only 15 minutes away i would definitely recommend going further if you can just to fully utilize it um because we were on it for like maximum 15 minutes but it was so cute i definitely don't regret it i think that's about it i'm pretty sure i showed you the little conductor kitty I bought as well. There was a lot of cute merch. I was so rushed for time though because I just wanted to actually like get pictures and like enjoy the actual carriages and things that I didn't spend much time looking at the merch. I just saw the conductor Hello Kitty and I was like yep I'm getting that. I need to get something. But yeah no really good day. Tired after all the traveling. It was like a three hour Shinkansen from Kobe to here and uh yeah, ready for the next, like the last leg of our trip. We're just gonna spend five days in Tokyo, just you know, doing whatever we missed, eating food, all the good stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching, as always. Excited to take you along to Team Labs tomorrow. I've never been. I actually had book tickets last time we were here, but we were running late and we ended up missing our session so i'm hoping that's not the case tomorrow so i'm gonna go to bed so i don't do that thank you again i'll see you tomorrow for team labs and lots of other adventures in tokyo bye